Japan has ordered 140,000 people to seal themselves indoors because of dangerous levels of radiation. That radiation is leaking from a crippled nuclear power plant. An explosion and fire there has heightened the crisis. And right now, estimates put the number of people who were killed by Friday's earthquake and tsunami at 10,000. Hundreds of thousands more are living in cold, miserable conditions. Thousands of people in northeastern Japan have no way to escape that leaking radiation. The Fukushima nuclear plant disaster is the second most dangerous leak in our planet's history. Local radiation experts told our Karshan Chambers how this may affect people for decades to come. Four reactors at Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant are spreading radiation. Dangerous levels that prompted Japan's prime minister to go on television with a warning. Now weather is a defining force in who's affected and where. One of the problems is, you know, how the wind is taking this radioactivity, whether it's taking back you know, back to the mainland. Dr. Harvey Greenberg is the director of radiation and oncology at UCH's cancer center. He treats cancer patients with controlled radiation and acknowledged Japan's situation could be the worst nuclear crisis since Chernobyl. Radioactive iodine 131 it's called and it, it's a, radio, a form of radiation that is easily absorbed by humans. Greenberg says health officials can give patients potassium iodide pills to block absorption of radiation through the thyroid. Acute exposure can cause nausea and vomiting. And worse, according to medical physicist Alan Bacco, it can cause leukemia and bone cancer. So a scan would be able to see how the bones were affected. You basically light up, sometimes like a Christmas tree on a bone scan. Traffic backed up for miles around the Fukushima facility as people tried to get out. Still, a U.S. Navy ship more than 200 miles south reported slightly elevated radiation levels. Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.